You know Brett Young, but did you know that before his country's success, he had a regular gig in LA sharing the stage with Katy Perry? I'm Anya Hammer, and Taste of Country's Billy Duke sat down with Brett during the 2017 Taste of Country Risers shoot. During the interview, Brett talked a little about his experience playing the Hotel Cafe in Los Angeles, a venue he says was the mecca for any singer-songwriter trying to make it at the time. If you were a dude, with a, a dude or a girl with a guitar and you were writing songs and you could get that room, I mean, it maybe does 100, 120 people. It's, it's a small room. Uh, but in LA, if you can get 120 people out with just you and your guitar, you're doing well. And uh, I had cool opportunities. I mean, they booked the night, you know, 45 minutes at a time. So, you know, I had the opportunity to be on the stage the same night as Mandy Moore and Katy Perry and Colby Calais. And it was it was the kind of the springboard for me getting starting to get comfortable performing songs in front of people. Thumbs up this video if you'd kill to see that lineup. At the time, Brett would have described his music as singer-songwriter, but as he thinks back, he sees that his songwriting then is very much what it is now. If it's just a guy and a guitar, I mean, I'm from Southern California, you don't have a thick country accent, but I was writing stories. My songs were stories. And so I was essentially writing country music, which is all I was listening to. And so at the time, we just classified it as singer-songwriter music. And if I listen to my old records, I'm like, it might even be sound a little bit adult contemporary, but like all we did was we went in, we did one acoustic record of old songs and changed the production, put a little fiddle on it, and we went, yeah, this is country music. It already was. If you haven't seen Brett's performance of In Case You Didn't Know, make sure to check it out here. It's crazy good and is the perfect example of how powerful a song can be, even when it's played acoustic. So Brett, between Katie, Mandy, and Colby, you obviously have some experience playing music with non-country artists. Who's your dream collaboration? My hands down dream non-country collaboration will and has been and will always be Gavin DeGraw. His first record, Chariot, is the reason that I wanted to start writing music. Um, the way that he says something that everybody says on a regular, regular day basis, but he says it differently. It makes you kind of perk up and listen, even though it's something that you're familiar with. Uh, I thought was so cool, and, um, and he's the reason I started writing songs. So such, such a cool collaboration if that ever worked out. Thanks for watching and subscribing, you guys. Be sure to check out the other six Taste of Country Risers. They're all incredible artists, and you don't want to miss out on them.